All right. I guess we could walk the line tonight. We could? Yes, we could. Uh, the Steelers are a two and a half point underdog. Before I let you give me your pick, uh, let's just take a look at Chris Boswell. This has been a big reason why you being a special teams coach. 18 of 19 for field goal percentage, 94.7. 19 of 19 for extra points. He's had a pretty good year, has he not? He has, and it, you have to contrast it with the year that he had last year. And because I work with kickers so much, it's so mental because they all have tremendous legs, tremendous capabilities, and he just got off track a little bit last year, and this year he's right back on, and I'm telling you, he's one of the reasons why the Steelers are having the four-game run that they've had and are in a position maybe to make a little bit more noise in the AFC. Run. All right, uh, you got Baker Mayfield, nine touchdowns, 12 interceptions, a lot of interceptions there. Nick Chubb, 919 yards, six touchdowns. Jamis, Jarvis Landry, everybody's talking about Odell Beckham Jr., but this guy's been the real deal, 652 yards, only two touchdowns, but if he gets the ball in track, He's very physical and he can make a lot of noise. Another key, Miles Garrett, 10 sacks. Talk about Cleveland, what they bring to the table. Well, Cleveland's got a tremendous defensive team, um, and it's really very similar to what the Rams brought last week. You're going to see a real strong rush, and you're going to see them really challenge the Steelers' line, much like the Rams did last week. But they've had problems. Cleveland has had problems getting the ball in the end zone. They get down to the red zone and kind of uh, wimp out, if you so to speak because they can't score. So uh, I think it was six plays in a row from the three-yard line and didn't score, finally did. So I think uh, the Steelers match up very well with them. When you look at the way we talked about the game on Sunday, it pretty much played out exactly the way we described it, if you go back and look at it. Now listen, we'll come back, talk Steelers, then you'll do your pick, then we're going to talk about why working class people matter to Ted and I, especially in great states like West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and Ohio. That's next.